All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Strikers in this division, sprawl and brawl, whatever you want to say, he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. It does not matter how he accomplishes it. All he wants to do is be on his feet and at range, hitting you with the beautiful jab, staying away from the grappling exchanges. You don't accomplish all the things that this man has accomplished over the course of his career without understanding distance. He has great distance management, which then in turn allows him to land all these beautiful diverse kicks Spinning back kick, jumping high kick, so many things he possesses that he will try to use tonight in this fight. Yeah, if this turns into a kickboxing match tonight, most it's people over. believe, yeah, his opponent is in a it's world over, of trouble. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Jumbo! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet tall, weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Dynamite! All right, Grinton rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your corners, come out for you. So here we go with round one, classic matchup of striker versus striker. These guys have both faced a lot of grapplers in the past. They like the draw tonight. Oh, yeah, they love seeing an opponent that will not be trying to dive at their legs. They know when they get to the center of the octagon, the only steps back they will take is if they choose to move out of range to re-enter back into the striking realm. It's a very comforting thought for both of these competitors. tonight and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it and stop throwing it. Man, he's timing his shots nicely. It's like Tom Brady out there. He hasn't missed the target. I mean, you insist on bringing in Tom Brady. Stop it. John, stop it. Right hook to the head blocked. Single collar tie. Big Paul punch land. Now we get back in range. Slips that left hand. Right hand punch with the clinch. And up a cut. Some nice back and forth action here. Over and over. This guy's getting hit. Right in his face. 
nice counter shot there. All right, good job by him there to raise the guard and protect his head. He's doing a good job of keeping the guard high, blocking his head, making sure he's not taking those damaging strikes up top. Big punch man to the middle. Single collar tie there. Just over three minutes to go. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Nice placement there on the left hook counter. Oh, nice combination of strikes there in terms of the accuracy. I mean, that's exactly what a coach is looking for. That's exactly. It's like the guy is hitting hands. It's like he's hitting both the spins, but instead, he's dancing all over his opponent's face. Right hand punch from the twist. Switching stances here. All right, so a nice shot there defensively to raise the guard and prevent any damage. Those hands never leave where they're supposed to be, and if you do that, most times you will block the shot that's in the Oh, big punch lands. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. And he landed the right hand there. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Boy, Ty Plump. Both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Nice punch land. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he continues to stay busy and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Repeatedly, nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. Nice punch there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. All right, single collar tie now. Right hand punch on the clinch. Driving the back of the head, pulling forward on the head, and then lands those beautiful punches. Really has got his opponent on notice here. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Nice punch lands over the top. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dog. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Right hand punch from the clinch. Left hand punch from the clinch. And both guys really throwing with authority. Big power shot there. The horn sounds for the end of round one. All right, there's the horn, and what a round it was. DC, take us through the replays. Punch after punch. He landed him at will. He went right at his opponent, got in his face, and showed, this is my octagon. We are going to dance to the beat of my two. All right, here we go with our next round. His opponent is going to need some Motrin later tonight. How about all those strikes to the head he absorbed in the previous round? He is not moving his head. He's trying to walk forward. He's a pressure fighter, sure, but he's trying to walk forward with no head movement, and he is paying the price for it but by getting hit over and over in the face. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. 
You wonder if the offensive fighter's gonna start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Oh, that'll get his attention. Nice counter on the uppercut. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. And now he's got that tie clinch. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, he got absolutely bludgeoned. That's as good a combination as we have seen out of him here tonight. The last time I saw a combination this good, it was Donald Cerrone beating up on Rick Storch. Oh, and he lands yet another strike to the body. Pinpoint placement right underneath the elbow. That was snuck in. Nice strike. Well, defense doesn't necessarily win championships in MMA, but he's doing a nice job blocking these shots. He's not allowing his opponent to get any damage off on him by blocking all these attacks. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. Single collar tie now. Good stick. Combination lands for him. It was hard to see a miss in that sequence. He's put it all together. I mean, everything is just flowing. It's like in a zone. It's like the basketball hoop becomes twice its size. This guy today is looking at both events in his opponent. That pressure, man. That pressure's intense. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. Straight punch lands. Single collar tie. Oh, nice right hand collar. Oh, big elbow. Nice defense there. Huge block. Nice jab. Falls up with a nice right hand. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Left hand punch of the clinch. Both fighters throwing heat now. So he lands another counter strike here. He's landed several counters in this round, but it's all been set up by his perfect timing, defensively moving the head beautifully off of that center line and setting up his own counter offense. High level stuff out of this young man tonight. Man, is he timing his shots well here tonight, DC. It's hard to recall him being this accurate. Oh, and there's the double leg takedown, DC. That is just too good, too easy. Too good, too easy. The timing was just too good. Before he could even defend, he's already off of his feet, going backwards. It's hard to run backwards, and that's what happens when this guy hits the double leg. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. Solid strike on the ground. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Oh, collar tie. That's a big strike right there. Good series of punches by him there. He has certainly had no trouble finding the range tonight. He is finding the target with everything he throws. He's mixing it up beautifully. Elbow lands. If your opponent has you in the clinch, pulling down on your head, landing punch after punch, you have got to clear that collar tie, reach back inside, and try to find space. All right, now we check out some of the action from that previous round, DC. How about the display of striking? Just high level. I mean, you would think that we're watching a K-1 level kickboxing match opposed to being in the UFC. Both displayed great technical skills, unbelievable striking.
All right, next round is now underway. Previous round, not necessarily a tough act to follow. Pretty good knock. Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Nice connection with the punch there. It's hard to recall a time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. It's never looked this good. All right, so he's landed some good shots. You hate to be overly critical, but nothing really in terms of combinations. Well, the jab has been looking great. How about jab, jab, right hand? Right. Because eventually you're gonna have to put something on your opponent that's gonna really make him pause. I believe the jab has been working so well, if he drops a big right hand after it, he may be able to finish the fight. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Just missed with the left there. He'll engage in a single collar tie. Ooh, what a punch. Oh, strike attempt to the midsection. It's blocked. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Throws the right hand there. Slips to avoid that left. Straight right. Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Punch coming, it's blocked. What a punch. Man, doesn't take a lot of these kicks to produce redness. Look at the left side of his body there, nasty. Slip that offering from his opponent. In the past, we've seen him sort of lean on the toughness. Tonight, he's leaning on the defense. Did you see the evolution of the fighter in turn? He doesn't have to be tough anymore. The more he can slip strike, the longer he can prolong his career. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with activity. Single collar tie there. Good defense to block the strike coming back. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Right hand punch to the clinch. Punch over the top. Clinch the guard, lands the right hand. Single collar tie here. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. All right, single collar tie now. He is throwing his entire hip into these body shots. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Oh, and he connects there. Pretty nice punch there. Great job finding the range to land those punches. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Oh, and now the underhook, DC. He's got the underhook. He's got the far side post. If you're the opponent, you have got to get out of here. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Back to the well with that right hand, it's no good. Doing a nice job putting it all together. Rips the body there. Single collar tie now. And they separate. Man, DC, his hands look good. A lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate. He's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to me. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, a combination lands. You want to talk about putting strikes together. Beautiful execution. Man. And every one of them are landing. He's overwhelming him with different attacks. Man, looks like he's trying to set records here, landing all of these strikes. He is aggressive to a fault and really has been all night long as he continues to pour it on. Got to be careful here, though, not to gas out. Big punch to the body. Beautiful left hand count. And they 
separate. Well, oh. how about those five minutes? No, 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 no. All right, the round is over. Gut check time for him now. You see the cut on his cheek has gotten really, really bad. And even though it's not affecting his vision, if it gets any worse, the doctor will be called in. And I can assure you, he's going to have no choice but to stop this fight. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Oh, that's a nice strike. Huge block for him. Nice body shot. Elbow lands for him. Ooh. The combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. Ooh, what a punch. Got the single collar tie. All right, boy, Ty Clinch. A lot of elbows and knees could be coming from here. We'll see how he chooses to attack. Yeah, it's a very dangerous position, but an advantageous one for the offensive fighter. Watch for the defensive guy to try to break this immediately. Nice job by the fighter here to continue to block the shots coming his way. You think he's trying to sort of fatigue his opponent here a little bit? He's kind of watching and seeing everything that's happening in front of him. Later, you'll see him start to throw counters after blocking shots. Nice punch lands over the top. Again, he's looking for that. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautiful, perfect placement on that shot. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now. Not doing a ton, just looking to recover. Big elbow! Plus right hand is true. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. That uppercut landed. Oh, big left. All right, less than three minutes to go here in round four. Nice straight punch. The fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate. A lot of activity in the hands. Look phenomenal tonight. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Beautiful strike. Watch the punch. Just missing on the counter there. And that one certainly found the target. Just misses there with the left. Oh, man, he lands another punch to the head. Under two minutes to go in the round. Oh, collar tie. Man, the body work really starting to take its toll here. Obvious redness on that right side. Little shot lands. He's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, big elbow. Oh! Oh, he missed with that right hand. In a single collar tie. When you're in the clinch, you can pull down on the head and land these beautiful punches to the head. Oh, now he's got the tie plum, Daniel. If you're on the other side, what are you trying to do to get? Oh! He's hurt. He's hurt bad. Oh, big guy to the head. Lands with the right hand. Oh, big combination of ground.
ground and pound strikes here, DC, this could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom, and if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to finish, continue to gain posture and rain down big strikes in your opponent. Nice strike. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the punches he's thrown. I mean, punches and punches. Oh. He's doing a great job. Back to the feet. Oh! How about those five minutes? All right, so there's the end of the round. He stayed committed to doing damage upstairs and landed a seminal blow in that round. It was accumulation of those strikes. He kept hitting him over and over to the head. Eventually, he found the, the one that really did damage his opponent. Striking. This might be your moment in this fight as he gets the tie clinch. This is a massive moment for this fighter. He is a great Muay Thai fighter. Look for him to go knee-knee and then try to land a big one to the head. Oh, single collar tie here. Well, he continues to stay busy. What do they say, DC? Punches in bunches? Punches in bunches. He's landing them upside his opponent's head over and over again. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Block there. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, great position for him here. He's got the full mount. Let's see if he can get that ground and pound going. Oh, he's got to get it going, but he can't rush. A lot of times, guys get in the full mount and they rush, they get nervous. They're like, oh my goodness, I'm winning. Reality is, you're winning, but it can change in a matter of seconds because then they can be gone. He's got to drop his hips, be really heavy at the opponent's base, and then just start to work. Make the opponent give his back so that he can try to... Oh! his opponent's night. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliano is going to stop to this contest at 1 minute, 33 seconds of round number 5. Declaring the winner by knockout, Dynamo! Well, he's smiling ear to ear, and why not? a knockout like that. I need to take it to the after party tonight. I mean, this is what dreams are made of. You dream of the knockout like this, and then the party after, where you and all your coaches get to celebrate the great handiwork.